Welcome back to CS Tech, I'm Claudio and I'm teaching you solar. In this video we're gonna talk about the Victron Lynx shunt. So let's get started. Before we start this video, let's make a small recap because many of you come here for the first time and they don't see the rest of the videos where I present the entire Lynx family. So let's recap what Lynx family is it and how it's work. First of all, you have the Lynx power in that connect with batteries and of course the amount of energy is going to this bus bar and is going through this Lynx shunt and of course it's going in the end in this distribution box that give you possibility to put fuses over here and connect your inverters and even your MPPTs. In different cases, is when you have MPPTs, the energy must go from this part to the shunt and of course go back into the battery. The shunt must be connected between them because basically a shunt is just a counter. It's a bidirectional counter that measures the amount of amp that is draining from the battery and consumed by the inverters and also can measure the amount of energy that is going from MPPT to the battery. In order to do this, you need the Smart JX device because this one is not smart, don't have any Bluetooth. The only way that you communicate with, with, uh, with him is through a CAN bus. A CAN bus is just a protocol that communicate with JX a device and send all the information over there. So all the settings and everything you can do must made only from JX device. Of course, you have the Victron, uh, Victron Connect app and if your system, your JX system is connected to the internet, you can make all the settings just from your phone, just from the Victron app. So I will keep also these two parts over here and let me show you what is inside and how this works in reality. Once you remove the case, you will see you have two bus bars. You have the positive and because you have the negative. As you can see, they are split together. Even the positive and even the negative are split together. The positive is split because you have an option over here to put a fuses. Right here, it's an ANL fuses from Victron Energy. It's rated to 300 amps and of course, give you the possibility to be the main uh, battery fuses in your system. Let me put this side because it's more easy to, to understand. Before install it, be very careful and please try to find the sense because the shunt in order to work perfectly need to be connected directly to the battery. For example, he measured the energy only on negative cable and this one must be connected to the battery. No any loads connected over here. If you want to connect any loads, connect it after he measured energy because in that way you will have the exact amount of energy that was consumed by your system. If you put over here, he the energy don't go through this measurement unit and is not counted and in the end you will have a wrong state of charge. If you buy a Victron uh, inverter, for example, if you buy an Easy Solar, you find out you don't need any shunt, but after some time, if the battery don't go to 100%, for example, for five days because it was cloudy outside, the state of charge will be not shown correctly. I had that problem in the past, so I need to add a smart shunt because it's also available in other smart shunt that is not part of this family, but can be added to your system and that measure the exact amount of the energy. How he can measure the energy and how, can, how he can know the exact state of charge? Let me explain you. First of all, once you connect to your Victron uh, JX device, you will go in the setting area and over there you can set the correct amount of the amps from your battery. Just check your battery sticker and you will find out the correct amps. Once you put the correct amps over there, he will know it that the battery at a fully percent, fully 100% charged will, will have, for example, 200 amps. And once the battery is go drain it and the entire system consume the energy, he will count the amount of amps that is going to him. So he make a, some calculation and after that he will broadcast to your JX device the correct state of charge. So this is the most correct and most efficient way to know the exact state of charge. Many of you uh, define the state of charge based on voltage, but voltage in many cases is not that so correct and the amps measurement is more correct because shunt also measure the voltage, measure the amps and in the end will show you the correct state of charge. So trust me, it's the best way to measure the exact amount of energy that is left in your batteries. So he measured the energy in one way. So may, let me explain you another way. You must connect it only in correct way. So this part will be connected to the battery and here will be connected to the loads. Even the loads, the load, the energy from the MPPT go from here, he will measure the energy and of course he, he will add to his counter and in the end will, will show the correct state of charge. 
Let me put this away because I have another one brand new because I want to make also a small unboxing and let me show you what you can find in the box when you order from Victron Energy. And please keep in mind, we are Victron dealers and of course if you decide to buy from us, we are from Romania but we can ship all over the Europe, you will receive 20% discount from the price list. So keep in mind this aspect. Let me remove everything that you can find in the box and let me show you what you receive. Okay, when you ordered, first of all, you receive this uh, quick installation guide. Uh, show you what you can do with the sticker because inside you have a sticker and let me show it to you. So, you already see it, this is the shunt, but as you can see, if you put this way and put the case, you will have the correct uh, reading uh, label over here. But if you put in another direction, because many of you depend on their uh, setup, they can put in a reverse order. So you don't have the correct right over here and it's not look so so good to have everything upstairs down but Victron offer you this sticker this label that give you possibility to just place it on the front and of course will align perfectly with this LED and you will have the correct reading for your uh, setup I don't know if it's if this is so important but I like to have it uh, all in the same direction. Another thing that you can find in the box is this uh, temperature sensor. It, have a, it has a connection over here, it's uh, marked with positive and negative and of course if you remove the case you will find over here a place to connect this temperature sensor and this gives you the possibility to read some information from your system. Temperature information for example cable or inverters or whatever you can also connect even on your battery uh, positive or negative because it's isolated and will measure the entire battery uh, temperature. Another thing that you can find inside it's a relay. You have a small relay over here and of course has an output. Basically you can set up some rules based on some information, some parameters on, from your system and you can use this relay in order to uh, I don't know close or open something bigger please please keep in mind this is a small relay if you plan to use a big uh, or a high load please use an external relay and use it this one only to close the coil from that external big relay for example you can set up I don't know a charging station based on voltage that is going through this uh, shunt and you can do more and more so I let you <laughs> to decide uh, how you can use the relay Another thing that you can find in the package are these two CAN terminals. Basically, uh, this uh, smart shunt communicate with JX device only via CAN bus. I told you it's not a smart device, don't have any Bluetooth. The only way to connect to your Victron environment is through a LAN cable. So that LAN cable communicate via CAN bus protocol and CAN protocol must be closed at the end. As you can see over here, you have two connections, one and two. And if you check a Cherbourg Venus or even color control, you still have two connections over there. So you must close the first and the last. For example, if this is the first device from our system, just close it, we use the cable from here, connect to your Cherbo, and at the end of the Cherbo, you must put also this uh, terminator because you need to close the loop. If you don't close the loop, the CAN messages can be not sent and read correctly and you not have a correct information sent between these two devices. Okay, uh, let me show you another thing. You have the bus bar, you have the positive bus bar, as you can see, split it together over here because you must put this ANL fuses. I told you earlier, this is not included in the package. You should buy separately and if you decide to put the battery directly over here, this one will serve also as a main fuse for your entire system. So choose a bigger one here, it's a 300 amps, it's more than enough. But if you need a higher or a small one, you can choose from Victron range and of course if you want to buy you can email us or check our website that is in the description below it's in Romanian but we can ship all over the Europe okay this is the shunt I still have two things that I want to show over here I have two ports over here in and out and this gives me the possibility to connect with other components from the links family for example if you want to connect with distribution box or this links distributor you must use a cable let me show you how a cable looks like you will find in the package when you order uh, links distribution it's a cable just connect it over here you have in and out and this make you uh, make a daisy chain connection and of course also send energy because if you buy the links distribution don't have any power supply inside so the power must be delivered to this cable from this front it's 5 volts be very careful don't use 48 volts because you will blow away this uh, links distribution um, uh, logic board so this is the links uh, shunt 
Like I told you, it's just a counter that measures the energy exactly and correctly and broadcasts all the information to your JX device in order to know the exact state of charge. What this shunt doesn't do, please keep in mind, uh, if you buy distribution distributor from Victron, you see you have the fuse blow options. That option cannot be broadcasted to Link's shunt. If you want to receive information in your system regarding uh, fuses and when the well, fuses blow, you must buy the Lynx uh, BMS, but that BMS can only work with Victron OM batteries with smart batteries. So, in this situation, you will see when a fuse is blow only on LED that is present on this distribution box or a Lynx distributor. So, this is the Lynx uh, shunt. I hope the information that I sh sent you over here was correctly. And of course, I hope you teach something. And like I told you in, the, in each video, if you have any question and if you want to transmit us something, use the comment area below. Sorry for English again, it's not our native language. We'll try our best, our best to, to explain you in English all this information. We are from Romania, our main channel. It's in Romanian and receive many, many messages from you that request us to make video in English. So this is the reason this video are in English. And again, sorry for English. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech. Thank you for watching. And of course, if you want to sustain us, just hit the bell, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, just give us a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye.